Kent Boggs dedicated 40 years of service to FFA and Oklahoma Career Tech. Flashback to the 1970s when Kent was a freshman at Surreal High School looking for something he could excel at. He was fairly confident his success wasn't going to come from sports like it did for his two younger brothers, but there were a few older students who were in FFA, guys he respected and looked up to, and Kent followed their lead. And the rest, as they say, is career tech history. After four years as a student in Travis Wallenberg's Ag Ed classroom, Kent moved to the head of the class. And that's the case with most ag teachers that we have in the profession today. Their ag teacher had a tremendous influence on them. And uh, Mr. Wallenberg was fresh out of college and uh, came to Surreal, had a young family. And he just, uh, he, he was my ag teacher all four years until I graduated high school and he was a great role model and just a, a young fellow that just had a great impact up, upon me in my life at that time and I wanted to be an ag teacher be, because of Mr. Wallenberg and he actually didn't teach that many more years of ag uh, he spent most of his profession as a Baptist preacher so that can tell you a little bit about the example he was for me the type of person the role model that he set for me was was just tremendous and, and I wanted to teach Ag because of him. When it was time to choose a student teaching site, Kent and another OSU student chose Fairview, but a disappointing last minute snafu sent them to Marlow, Oklahoma instead. It wasn't far from Surreal, but Kent didn't know anything about Marlow or its Ag education program. Legendary Hall of Famer Ernest Muncreep had reluctantly agreed to mentor the two young men and that twist of fate was life changing and we walked into the classroom. It was probably the worst ag building in the state of Oklahoma. It was an old lean-to off of the gymnasium. It was just awful. And we sat at the back and the students came in and the first thing he did was call Roe and all of the members answered Roe by saying yes, sir. After eight weeks of student teaching with Mr. Muncrief, Kent was invited to become the second ag teacher at Marlowe. I just had a great experience. I, I don't think I was any, I wasn't any better than anybody else, but I just got into it. I loved it. It was what I wanted to do, you know, and I did not even go back to OSU and go through graduation because Mr. Muncrief had offered me the job before I left. I had a grandmother that never forgave me for not going through graduation because I was the only grandchild at that time to graduate from college and she had bought me my senior ring at OSU and I didn't go through graduation. I was really on her list for a while for not doing that. But I just had a great experience and I was, I was ready to go. I was ready to teach ag and I'd already forgot all about OSU. Mr. Muncrief's ag classroom was quite different from Mr. Wallenberg's. It, livestock was not the thing. It was more of a leadership based program with the public speaking and the parliamentary procedure and the chapter officer development and those things, that, the, the community service, that was Muncrief. And I, so I got to see a whole other side of FFA that I didn't see when I was in high school, which is exactly what you hope student teaching will do for you. Two years later, Kent was offered his dream job to teach ag at Elgin High School. I absolutely loved it. It was where, when I was an FFA member in high school, we, Surreal is very close to Elgin, different counties, but we had a local show at Fletcher where Elgin came over and I was always so impressed with Elgin FFA and they all wore their red shirts when they showed their livestock and if I thought when I was going to college here at OSU if I could be an ag teacher anywhere, I would want to be an ag teacher at Elgin. All he'd ever wanted to do was teach ag to be a career ag teacher. But after three years at Elgin, Mr. Boggs was offered an opportunity he couldn't pass up. He was only 28 years old when the FFA Executive Secretary position came open. But Mr. Muncrief and Raymond Cockrum, when the job came open, they encouraged me to apply. I did, honestly, I did not know who the state FFA Executive Secretary was at that time. I could not have told you his name. I didn't know. I'd had a couple of state officers as an ag teacher, and so I knew that the Executive Secretary was responsible for state officers, but I didn't even know who had the job. And so I, I applied because Mr. Muncrief and Mr. Cockrum encouraged me to. 
For 33 years, he worked with the cream of the crop, if you'll pardon the ag pun, mentoring 238 state FFA officers on 33 teams. He watched them grow and thrive, and the relationships he formed with the student leaders kept him young. But one day, in 2018, it was time to retire, and he passed the baton to a former FFA state officer, Trevor Lucas. I gave uh, FFA everything I had for 33 years. I really did. I mean, it was my life. I devoted my entire life, really, to FFA. And I wouldn't change a thing about that. But I, I really worked at it. It was important to me. I gave it everything I had. And um, I could have stayed a little longer, but I was ready. I was really ready to retire. Kent is a lifetime member of the National FFA Alumni and the OSU Alumni Association. An honorary member of the Alpha Gamma Rho fraternity, he received the Distinguished Service to Oklahoma Agriculture Award from the Oklahoma Farm Bureau and the Arch Alexander Award for Outstanding Contributions to Career Tech Education in 2009, the same year OSU Ag Ed Scholarship, Inc. established the Kent Boggs Endowed Trust in his honor. He co-authored a book about the history of FFA called Vision of Blue, Heart of Gold. Congratulations, Kent Boggs, inducted into the Career Tech Hall of Fame.